Greetings everyone and welcome to yet another ST Gaming video and uh, this time we're gonna take a look at a movie tie-in Jaws published by Screen 7 in 1989 and developed by Intelligent Design and yes it's of course based on the Steven Spielberg movie from 1975 I think so this game was released almost 15 years after the movie had premiered so yeah that's a bit late but maybe they got the license for cheap, not sure. I haven't played this one myself, but I'm uh, not entirely optimistic about it. But uh, let's have a peek. Oh, yes. I think that's a digitized uh, picture, that. Looks decent. And the music is by David Whittaker, so I expect that to be good at least, right? So let's listen to it. This is pretty solid, actually. Ooh, launch time! That was pretty cool. I've heard about the intro. It's supposed to be really good. There's supposed to be a 3D animated bit as well, I think. Ah yes, here we are. I think this has been animated in 3D CAD and the cyber uh, cyber animation tools or whatever they were called. These were the first 3D animation tools I ever used, so I've got fond memories of this stuff and I'm pretty sure this has been done in uh, 3D CAD by... what was the name of the company? Can't quite remember, but I think it was... was it... Tom Hudson who made them? Hmm, yeah, never mind. Let's just focus on big, sharp teeth and not being eaten by said teeth. It's always a bad sign when a game still has the, um, the keyboard beep. You know, the gem keyboard beep when you press a key. But they've turned it off now, that's good. So let's get started. And the game does take some liberties with the story. I do believe we are Captain Brody, that guy that's hor the horrible digitized face down to the right. That's supposed to be Brody, I think. But the other people I don't think are in the uh, game and I think you have six guys that are supposed to... Oh dear. You can switch between and I honestly don't know what I'm doing so let's just... Oh, I think someone is... Ah yes, we pressing fire would allow us to go down into this batiscope, I think it's called or something. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. We can run around or swim around or and get killed by something far less impressive than a shark. And why am I? Hmm. Oh, that's Richard Dreyfus, I think. They changed the picture. Is it his turn to be eaten? Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's Dreyfus. Mm. Oh god. These... okay. The fish can fire. That's interesting. Yep. The fish is armed and... was that octopus really close enough to kill me? I don't know. Yeah, again, the game does take some liberties. Jesus Christ with the... Um, uh, with the story. We're supposed to find a weapon, it's been split up into different parts and then we're supposed to murder the shark with that and... and it's apparently a pretty weak... what should I call it? Adventure, like action game kind of... more like a collect em up I suppose we should call it. And I really have no idea what's going on here. Um, uh, did my sprite just disappear? Uh, I think this... Okay, I have no clue what happened there. But here we are back again. Damn, that fish is one powerful beast and I can't touch it. Oh god, I can't touch anything. I hate... I mean, come on, just give me... Can I just be allowed to kill something? Maybe that squid? Hmm, no. All divers are dead, really? 
Jaws will kill again. I thought we had six divers. Uh, but yeah, nice graphics, I suppose. And we're supposed to have a map screen as well, I think. Uh, but yeah, I just pressed fire, so that was... Maybe not the best way to go about things if we want to use the map. And we can shut down the beaches around the area. So there's some sort of strategical element involved in the game as well, where you can... If you close the beaches for too long, the mayor will get annoyed at you and do something bad. But I don't know why the mayor would be worse than the shark, to be honest. And I don't understand why no, none of these annoying fish people die when you shoot them. They are just impervious. Why do I have a weapon when nothing takes damage? Let's just explore away and see if we can... Oh, Dear sweet Jesus, that's not good. I think that was Jaws, or maybe his brother or something. And... Oh, man. Uh, initial thoughts are... Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. <laughs> it's just... Goddamn collect em up. This is... Even, even the screens look the same. And you can't destroy a single enemy... Because reasons... Game logic and, oh, finally, something new. And we've got a mental starfish that just lobs whatever at me. Uh, I'm not sure what was that. Amoebas, maybe? They are armed and they are dangerous and I can't do anything to hurt them. Maybe I... Oh, pressing space allows me to go back to the... Boat. Now we've got a, um, the map, map screen. What? Come on. Can I please? Oh, that's a nice touch. Yeah, apparently the, the, the shark is, um, moving about and we've got various beaches we can go to and try and fight. Could you please? I would love to just get out of here, you know. I managed to do it before, but now I can't get back into the boat, which is... Sad and annoying. Hey, can we... Uh, and you can't just stand still and fire. Oh, no, 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 no. That would be way too... What? Did did that school of fish just murder me? Or did I get shot by the weird blowfish thing? I, I don't know. This is rubbish. Honestly, really rubbish. All right, I managed to find something. Shark attack. And there's, what's his face, Roy Scheider, I think. Over to the right there. Uh, the, the, the sheriff, I think? What am I supposed to do here? I don't know. Maybe I could shut down the beaches or something. Oh no, I... Uh. Okay, let's see if we can... Nope, that blowfish bastard will return fire whenever I get the funky idea of trying to murder it. I mean, what's the point with uh, having a bastard gun when it does no damage to anything? And there's a shark. I don't even care. Let's go down here and see if we can find anything fun to do. And wow, everything is armed. Everything is... And I don't know what happens there. That thing... I, I, I just go invisible. I, I just cloak somehow. And then I touch... Oh, God, sorry. I can't really see what is what. Sometimes there's bubbles and sometimes there's projectiles and sometimes there's sharks and it's all garbage. And why are you firing that way, G? Oh, I actually killed something. Blimey, that's... That's amazing. Okay. Oh, I can uh, destroy the bubbles. Or the balls, and what the hell is that thing? Get away from me, you blobby bastard. Oh man, this this is... This is so much pants, I, I can't even... Ex extra large pants, what can I say? Oh look, we found... Uh, maybe a part of the weapon? Don't know, don't really care too much either to be honest and I'm trying to use various keys on, on the keyboard but usually it results in nothing happening 
But let's go down and see if we can locate that piece of the weapon or whatever it was. Maybe it was a, I don't know, some sort of artifact that's amazing and gonna make my life so much better. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, ball socks. I mean, the game is just so damn boring. I can't even be bothered trying to avoid stuff. It's just like, no, I don't care. <laughs> Completely unengaging. And why are you not firing at the right... Oh, God, way... Oh, stop it! Ah, uh, leave me be, please. I just want to grab something interesting, like that, whatever it is. Uh, okay. Was that like a... Did that fish just have a teleportation device? This, this is just so nonsensically weird. Oh. Oh, look, he've turned into a thing. Oh. New things. And the graphics are pretty icky looking. Apart from the intro, it really does look pretty... pretty much garbage. I mean, I know Spectrum games that are vastly superior visually, with far fewer colours. Take Starquake, for instance, which just kind of reminds me of a bit. That looks so much better than this awful pile of rubbish. And yeah, all right, the game over screen is nice, I suppose. And the sample sound effects when they show up is, or should I say, was kind of cool back in the day, I suppose. I couldn't find a manual for this game. I, I thought I'd found one, but it turned out to be a little computer people instead. So someone had completely uh, re renamed that incorrectly because ev every single link I could find containing the manual for Jaws was for little computer people. So, yeah, I really have no idea what is going on. Let's go back to the boat and try and press things, buttons. Uh, yeah, I can go to this map screen and I can do absolutely nothing here. I would love to be able to maybe sh close down a couple of beaches, maybe kick the mayor out of office. I don't know. Go on a rampage on the town square. Uh, anything would be more fun than pressing infinite amounts of buttons, which seem to do very little. Let's close a couple of beaches, because that's fun. Let's just close all of them, please. The controls are really garbage as well, I must admit. So we closed all of them. That's great. Let's see how long it takes before the mayor gets really upset with me. And every time you go into a new screen, the... Uh, submarine thing flashes, which makes me think that I'm taking damage. Okay. But I can't fire diagonally. I did not know that. Uh, but it's still... You can't just fire in a direction. You have to travel in that direction as well. And the enemies will, of course, immediately fire on you if you fire on them. This is just impossible, and the hit detection is rubbish. Good morning! Yes, good morning to you too. Now I've closed all the beaches again, I just want to see what happens. Um, oh, interesting, there's still 15 people taking a bath, even though I've completely closed down all of the beaches. You are obviously in violation of the uh, beach code. Hello, Jaws! Where are you going? Out to buy the newspaper, maybe? Or out for a snack, perhaps? It's kind of nice that the the light changes in the picture, yeah, depending on what time of day. That's a little neat touch, but of course it doesn't add anything to the completely lacking gameplay. And the ocean is really annoying. That that animated mess of pixels looks... Uh, especially midday or late afternoon, I should say. It looks... Ugh. Ooh. Beach closures have cost too much? You are sacked. Well, thank God for that. And of course, the question on everyone's lips is, is this as bad as Telemark Warrior? No. Telemark Warrior is still substantially worse than this, but it's definitely not a good game. So let's quickly get out of here and have a look at a couple of reviews. Sorry, as the user gave the game an overall of 8 and one of the reviewers wrote, I wasn't too impressed with the gameplay of Jaws. We've all seen plenty of these maze-based arcade adventures, but I must admit I couldn't think of a better way to adapt the film. Well, 
I've got a surprise for you, ST user. I think I have several better ideas than this, because this is just a cheap, lazy game. With maybe the exception of the intro animations that were really nice, and the music, which was uh, really solid. And the other reviewers was also pretty impressed, and he wrote, Although the gameplay of Jaws isn't original, the whole thing is very well put together and thoroughly entertaining. Nope. Nope, it's not. Not in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Today's magazine was a little bit more connected with reality and they gave it an overall of 475 mystery points and they wrote The ST is capable of much better than a poor rendition of the Jaws theme tune and some weedy in-game effects. And its graphics powers have been much better used than they are here. There's a neat intro sequence which shows the batiscope being loaded onto the boat, but apart from that there's very little else in the game to show that it's a 16-bit product. And yes, I think Ace pretty much nailed it. The intro is definitely the best part of this game. The rest can be thoroughly avoided and uh, no harm will be done to your happiness. So guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and all that stuff and uh, as usual, hope to catch you in the next video. Cheers! I'm gonna go get